Hey guys, I just want to say that if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I'm a small content creator and could really use your support. I livestream 100% of the gameplay for games that I review, and I'm also always trying to keep up with the big named movies that are being released. If you would like to support the channel monetarily, you can do so through PayPal, or even better yet, you can get yourself some merch from my Teespring store. If you want to get better connected, you can do so through the social links in the description below, and please do consider joining the Discord. If you do, you can voice chat with me through my headphones while I live stream, and you won't be recorded on YouTube or Twitch. That's all I've got, guys. I hope that you really enjoy the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Mike, and this is Mike's After Action Reviews, and today we are doing the December 2021 slash January 2022 action update. Okay guys, so before we get really into everything with the video here, I do just want to say Happy New Year. Um, normally the action updates come at the end of the third month, which would be uh, uh, December. But today I'm recording this and probably going to release it today as well, January 2nd. And so I decided, you know... The holidays were going on. Did I really want to sit down and do this action update during the holidays with my family here and visiting and, and taking vacation days from work and stuff like that? Um, and also, if I waited until after the first, then I could, you know, say, hey, Happy New Year um, with the action update. So I hope that everyone has had a great year and I'm hoping for another great year. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so you guys can definitely help me with that. Make sure to share, like, comment on the video, all of that good stuff. It really does help me out, um, and it would be just a great way to start off the year. So, okay, let's get into this thing. So I have some notes here because I got a lot of information to go over, and so I'm going to be reading <clears throat> some stuff from here, okay, because I have some lists of things that I'm going to go through pretty quickly. I'm going to try to, uh, in the name of brevity, I try to leave some things out. Oh, and also before we really get going, I also want to say, so these used to be called quarterly, and I would say like first quarter, second quarter, uh, action update. I'm going to stop doing that and basically just put the date, and the reason why is because, uh, you know, and we've... I kind of going over this. This is supposed to be like December. December would be the fourth quarter, like the end of the year action update. Um, and then if January were the first quarter, uh, well, if you know, do you want the first quarter action update at the beginning of the first quarter or the end of the first quarter? And then I, I'm a little bit um, picky about that. So I was like, eh, naming conventions, let's leave that out. I'm just going to put basically every three months, every quarter, Every three months, um, uh, so we have like January, February, March. So between March and April, I'll have another action update, um, which will go over everything from January to March. And then, you know, uh, we'll do it like that. But these are not necessarily going to be called quarterly. It's just going to have the date on them. So if you're looking for tracking these, it's going to be the date, okay? Just the date. Um, anyway. Uh, so let's get into this thing. First thing I want to do is put out some shout outs. Uh, alt Game Reviews. If you guys haven't checked out Alt Game Reviews yet, he is uh, a buddy of mine that I met while streaming. He came in to watch some, uh, some of my streams. We've talked. He puts out good YouTube videos. Check him out. I'm going to put up his logo. It's probably already up here. So check him out. This is the picture that he uses on his YouTube. And there's going to be a link for him in the description below. Um, he does more brief videos. Um, my videos tend to be pretty long. I, I have kind of a different audience, I think, than he may attract. Um, um, I have long form videos. He has some shorter ones. They're really brief, sweet. Um, I really like his content, it's high quality and stuff. It's for people who want a little bit of a shorter thing. Now me, I have videos that are like 30 minutes long and an hour long for movie reviews and 45 minutes to an hour long for movie reviews. So um, he's gonna be a little bit more your ballpark if you don't, <laughs> don't like stuff so long. So um, yeah, he's really great, definitely check him out. Also, 
The Endless Perceptions of Lloyd A. Green. So Lloyd A. Green is an author who also has a YouTube channel, and here is his YouTube channel stuff right up here. So he is an author who has a YouTube channel. He checked out some of my, my YouTube channel stuff, uh, left some comments, we started talking, I even messaged him on Facebook. He was, he's, um, so he's an author, so I was like, oh, maybe you'd like to check out my website, because I do have a website. Um, uh, link in the description below where you can check out written reviews that I do and because he was an author he checked them out and he gave me some some um, some pointers some advice things like that and he also does on YouTube he does short very short like two or three minute videos uh, about movie reviews that he sees um, those are really fun I think that he him and I, I think it's his daughters we haven't we haven't talked about that specifically who those people are but either his daughters or his wife or um, whoever it is that does the videos with him they have a really good energy uh, they really put it out there. I've agreed with almost everything they've said about all the movie reviews that they've done. They're really short, though. They do it really good. So, so I've, I've always said, I've gone with the adage that I learned in high school. In high school, I learned, uh, I had a teacher, he told me, um, you know, if you can write, you know, if you have to write something in 5,000 words, uh, do it if you have to. But if you can write it in... Um, 3,000 words, write it in 3,000 words because it'll be higher quality. So I know that my videos are quite long and if, you know, maybe if I had more time, I could make them higher quality and make them a little bit shorter, but it's harder to, you know, it's harder to, um, um, do certain things depending on the amount of time you have. So, uh, but definitely check them out. They're really fun. I really like them. I appreciate their videos. Um, so the endless perceptions of Lloyd A. Green. Lloyd, this is your shout out, man. I love you. Uh, Please keep keep commenting in my videos. I love having conversations with you, and I, I've left you some comments on your videos, too. So, um, Another one that I want to give a big shout-out for is Dan Fan. Um, here is her little logo here, and the links for all of these guys are in the description below, okay? Dan Fan is a YouTuber who is much larger than I am, which is awesome because her content is excellent. And she does media news as far as movie and video games. She does movie reviews, series reviews, um, and it's not... Un it's not dissimilar to the way that I do things as far as... Um, uh, like when I do my rapid action reviews, I would say she's a little bit more the way that I do or my movie reviews her, her and I reviews are are similar hers are, are she's much better at it than I am. I love you Dan fan shout out to you um, so uh, I've, I've kind of talked about this before on my channel I, I sometimes uh, being a new YouTuber, I have in the past written emails, uh, reached out to other YouTubers and said like, hey, what do you think of this content? What do you think of this? What do you think of that type of thing? And I honestly can tell you I've, had, I've never had a response from anyone, um, even smaller YouTubers, um, about any of my content. Through groups and stuff that I'm part of, um, I've had YouTubers that are either smaller than me or about the same size as me. Uh, we've talked and stuff, but nev never anybody like Dan Fan. So I have 394 subscribers right now as of making this video. Dan Fan has 65,000. I wrote her an email. I said, "Hey, Dan Fan, uh, I'm just a humble, small-time YouTuber. What do you think of my content? Maybe you would like to check it out. If you don't get back to me, that's fine. I, I totally get it." Immediately, I think it was the next day, Dan Fan had looked over my videos gave me some pointers, some things that I have now started implementing, such as putting my my face into my um, video thumbnails, things like that. Um, some other pointers she gave me, which I've tried to start implementing. And so I want to give a big shout out to Dan Fan. She, she is... She's really great. Us small YouTubers, we've got to stick together. Please go check her stuff out. She really, honestly, um, she's different than I am, but I would definitely say that she's earned every single one of those subscribers, so please go check out her channel. She's really awesome. So, Dan Fan, this is for you. Love your content. Love your stuff. I'm still, I'm watching, I'm watching her reviews of High Guardian Spice instead of watching the show, my, show because it's just, uh, it's not the best, not the best show, and uh, I really enjoy her analysis of it, so. Okay, anyway, let's get everything started as far as the action update. So, in case you missed it, let me see here. I have one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen reviews have gone out um, in the last three months, this last quarter. Um, so the big ones being uh, the Marvel What If. I've done all of the Marvel series since they've been coming out, except for WandaVision 
which I'm, I'm I, if I have time at some point, I may go do a retro action review of that. I'm also doing Hawkeye, so uh, let me see. The Unreal Engine tech demo, I did a, I did a thing of that. I did a live stream of that, and then and then my thoughts on that. Otherwise, we've had um, the Vampire Retro Action Review, uh, Back for Blood, Diablo 2 Resurrected, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, and currently I'm working on another game that I'm trying to beat and put out a review. So those are the game reviews. And then some other movie ones. Big movie ones are like Dune. I just did The Matrix uh, Resurrections. So definitely go check those out. Ghostbusters Afterlife was a really great movie as well. Go check out my review with Sam of that. And then with The Matrix Resurrections, by the way, Other Mike is featured in there as well. So those are the big things that you may have missed. Please go check those out. Leave a comment, a like. You know, make sure that you're subscribed so you can see me. And, you know, hit the notification bell so you can see when I put out new stuff, okay? Uh, also, I'm doing... I've started doing um, streams of trailers live on Saturdays. So basically on Saturdays, if you follow me on Twitch, um, I try to do it like morning or early afternoon. I'll do a stream. It's I try to keep them half hour to 45 minutes now. I start They started out being like an hour to an hour and a half, but now I'm trying to get them down to be about a half hour to 40, 45 minutes um, where I will react to five movie review or not movie reviews five movie trailers and five video game trailers that come out throughout the week i do this every saturday i did not do one yesterday because of the holidays and because of a movie review that, movie review that i'm working on right now so um you know if you're interested in seeing some of the newest stuff that's coming out from like ign and other youtube channels when they put out trailers and things i subscribe to all the big ones sony ign uh xbox uh, Switch, or Nintendo, not Switch, Nintendo. Um, check that out every week, morning or early afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> and I think next week we will basically, I'm going to like cut back a lot and do um, one covering the last two weeks because I didn't do one for Christmas either. So, um, uh, which, you know, I hope that you guys have an understanding of that, you know, holidays and stuff like that. So, all right. What I'm currently working on. So right now I'm playing through Ruined King, A League of Legends Story, which is much longer than I thought it was going to be. It, so Dying Light was um, delayed until February 4th of 2022. So February 4th of this year was supposed to come out in December. Uh, it was delayed. So I said, oh, I have this other game that I, I had already been playing a little bit of. Uh, Ruined King, A League of Legends Story. I just figured I'll put out the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy review. And then I'll do the um, Ruined King, A League of Legends Story. And once I finish that, I'll do a, a review. I thought that that game was going to be shorter. I started playing it and realized it is a beast. It's going to take me... I'm only about halfway through it. I've been playing it for a month. It's going to end up being with me playing the way that I play. Trying to get everything. Um, do everything that I can do. Make my characters as good as I, th they can be before I finish the game. It's it's probably going to end up taking me a good up to 40 hours, like 35. I may have 15 to 20 more hours because I'm, I'm right at the halfway point. I'm just over 20 hours. So um, that one is going to be a while, a, just a little while away. I do YouTube part-time. I do have a day job, so please bear with me as I do that. Um, <clears throat> also, right now, Spider-Man No Way Home. I have my notes ready. I have, we're, we are set to go. I'm just waiting for Sam. So Sam went on um, vacation and um, I'm waiting for him to see the movie so that way we can do a review together. Please bear with us on that one. That one's gonna be uh, way too late, but you know what, that happens sometimes. Like I said, YouTube, Sam has a day job, I have a day job, stuff like that happens. Please watch for that. Um, but I can tell you that movie was really great. Please go see it. Um, it's made so much money, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's definitely going to make a billion dollars. I think they said that it may even make like one and a half billion. Uh, it'd be amazing to see it make two billion, but anyway. Uh, okay, so those are the things that I'm working on right now, uh, along with implementing some of those things with Dan Fan. Uh, like I said, putting thumbnails in the, uh, sorry, put my picture in the thumbnails, things like that. If you guys have any suggestions as far as things that you think I should change or anything like that, please do leave me a comment. You can also email me. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can, uh, on the top there where you have like my videos and playlists, there's the about section on there. You can click on that. My email's on there. It's mikesafterxreviews at gmail.com. Please, please do not be afraid to email me. You can join the Discord. If you message me on Discord, it's just like texting me because I have it on my phone. So uh, I am available to you anytime. So, oh, one last thing. Once we hit, okay, once we hit 
500 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a $250 cash giveaway, okay? Please, guys, be ready for this. Let, let your friends know about Mike's After Action Reviews. Share my videos, leave me likes, comments. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. Join the Discord, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch. Do everything that you can do. Let's get to that 500 subscribers so that way I can give away $250. These are real giveaways, these are not the fake stuff. Um, I do not have the creativity or the time to pull off a scam where a bunch of people subscribe to my channel. And I'm, I, I honestly, to tell you the truth, I get sick and tired of the bots that try to win the cash giveaways. Um, so, <laughs> I hate dealing with them, but I have to do it because I want to give back to the community. So, um, right now, and I've also made the pledge moving forward that uh, I would uh, basically do cash giveaways for 10%. 10% of any of the money that I make, um, I do just want to let you guys know. Uh, I have a merchant. I have a merchandise store at Teespring. You can check out my merch over there. And I have not made enough money to do a cash giveaway. I have made a little bit of money, but not enough to give to do a cash giveaway. Right now, if I gave you guys 10% of what I've made so far, I might give away a dollar. Who wants a dollar? Come on now. Uh, but yeah. So as I as as I reach a point where I'm going to start making some more money from my merchandise and from my my um, you know, like once I get monetized after hitting a thousand views, we'll be doing that 10% cash giveaways of the money uh, every quarter. So we're not quite there yet. I think it's like 10% over, like 10% if the 10% is over 50 bucks is, the, is what I think I'm going to do. So that way I'm not like giving a, doing cash giveaways for 10 bucks. That would suck. So, um, but we're not there yet. As we approach, I will let you guys know moving forward into January. So this month, I am going to be playing the Ruined King and finishing that. Uh, I think I, I have a game in mind. If you have a game that you would like me to review in January, basically start playing right now and review. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'm going to be playing Ruined King for a couple more days, and then I will be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be um, starting this other game that I have an idea of, unless somebody else gives me a better one. Uh, so that's January. Now, uh, February, we have Horizon Zero, or sorry, Horizon Forbidden West coming out on the 18th. And alongside of that, we also have Total War Warhammer 3 uh, on the 17th, and Elden Ring on the 25th. That's in February. I know I want to review Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, I am going to play Total War Warhammer 3. I don't know if I'm going to live stream it. I, I, I may live stream it. I don't know if I'm going to I'm gonna review it. Um... But for sure, Horizon Forbidden West, and then maybe I'll do Elden Ring. Um, I'm not sure if Elden Ring is going to be my taste of game, although it does look really good. Uh, I don't doubt uh, its quality. I'm just as hyped for that game. But is it the kind of game that I want to play and do in my YouTube channel? I'm not sure. Leave me a comment in the comment section below about any of these months that I'm talking about that you would like. Um, you know, maybe you have something you want to see me play and do. Uh, also, I do want to tell you, January, by the way, is an open slate. No new games are coming out that I'm interested in doing. But again, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. The next game that comes out is in is Starship Troopers Terran Command. It comes out on March 31st. Um, so how it could work is that I could do Horizon Forbidden West, try to beat that as quickly as possible, probably get done with it about mid-March, um, and then play either Elden Ring or Warhammer 3 um, until Starship Terran Command comes out. Try to get that done. Um, one of those, you know, either game that I'm going to play, get that done before March 31st, put out the review. We'll see how it goes. I think Elden Ring is going to be a longer game, so that's going to be harder to do, too. So, uh, I don't know. And it's also going to be kind of a difficult game as far as what I've heard from it. So, that's their aim, anyway. Uh, April, we have an open slate, though. So, literally no games in April coming out. And then May, there's going to be so there's gonna be a huge gap between March and uh, the March game of Starship Troopers Terran Command. And then May, um, Sons of the Forest comes out, which is going to be a PC game. It comes out on the 24th, 20th, sorry. And then Forspoken comes out on the 24th. So I'm definitely going to play both of those games. I think I'll stream Sons of the Forest and review Forspoken. I may not review... Um, Sons of the Forest, just because it's not a game... The way that I, I do um, 
um, my reviews and stuff. That and and that's probably not going to be the most popular. Like it's a good game and everything, but it's not going to be like AAA release style gameplay or, or anything like that. But I did love the forest and the Sons of the Forest. I'm definitely going to like. Uh, I, I believe. And then Forspoken comes out, I'll definitely play that. That's going to be, uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's going to be my next console game. So there's going to be a big gap there, and in between there I may be able to fill in with other games. So let me know. Like I said, leave a comment in the comment section below. Here's the big thing, though. This is a weird year because we do have some good games coming out, but in June, July, August, September, October, I have no games. I have no games that are coming out that I'm really interested in, so it might be retro action reviews. I may be able to fill in, like, if I don't get to Elden Ring and stuff like that, I may be able to do that. Like I said, comments, let me know what you think. Uh, but in November, November 11th, Starfield, which is only coming out on Xbox, so I'm going to be able to get it on PC. I'm excited for that. We're going to check that out. We're going to see if Bethesda can um, kind of redeem itself because uh, Fallout 76, which basically has brought Bethesda down quite a bit. And then December, again, no games. Um... And that kind of brings us to the end of the year, as, you know, obviously. Uh, so I was thinking about this as I was writing these out and kind of going over my year. Um, I, I, I don't do movies. I, I don't put movies in the action updates. If you guys would like, I do that because of brevity. These videos are kind of long and I know who I am. I know how popular I am. People are probably not the most interested in uh, necessarily in just hearing me talk about what I'm going to be doing for the next quarter and over the next year. If you guys would like me to include the movies I'm going to do, basically any big AAA movies I'll consider doing, a, you know, at least one a month. Um, if you guys would like me to put them in here, let me know if you have movies you want me to review that are coming out over the next year or especially over the next quarter. Please do leave me a comment, message me on Discord, and send me an email, whatever. Uh, and I will definitely consider doing that. Whatever you guys want to see is what I'm willing to do. I've even said in the past I'll start an OnlyFans page. I don't know, maybe I'll... I'll, uh, I'll uh, Record myself shaving my shaving my legs or shaving my face or cutting my toenails or something. You guys can watch all you weirdos on the internet can see that if you're interested. Um, but anyway, so games to be announced. We do have quite a few. This is an odd year, really. It is because we do have a few games to be announced that have either they've either been delayed or to be announced. So Dying Light Two delayed to February fourth. And I will not be reviewing it in February because of the February is kind of the horizons coming out and things like that. Like I already said, I may do that some other time throughout the year. Um, we have some news on V Rising. V Rising is a game that I've been following. It's um, in development right now. It may be it's it's let probably you know it's lesser known because it's not coming from a AAA release studio. But they were supposed to have a beta. It's basically what it is. You're going to play as a vampire, open world vampire. Um, I want to say MMO, open. it's at least open world, I'm not exactly sure how much of an MMO it's going to be, um, or it may just be like a single player slash cooperative play style uh, open world sandbox kind of game. Um, uh, we, ha we haven't been able to really take a look at gameplay as far as the... Uh, like a beta or anything like that, but it will be coming out. It was supposed to already be out, um, but this is from their official website here, and this is the statement that they said. So, we know you guys have been eager for more news on the beta, and with only a few months left of the year, we thought now might be a good time to update you guys on where we're at with it. Currently, we so they originally said that it was going to come out before the end of the year, and that but just that got delayed, and that happens. That's okay, especially with indie developers. You know. Currently, we plan to start a very limited closed beta test this year to get the necessary data for our initial adjustments before scaling it up next year. Now this is talking about this year as in 2021. After that, we'll be gearing up for the paid early access release, a date we will set in 2022. So if you don't happen to get into either phase of the closed beta test, fear not. Unlike the Noble Vampire, your wait will not be eternal. So when, when that happens, I will be paying and getting early access and giving you guys um, content on that, okay? Uh, it's been a great month with lots of progress on the back end and lots more to introduce when we can start gathering feedback later on this year. With the plan, with the path ahead of us clearer than ever and our work set out for us, it's going to be an exciting time at Sun Stunlock Studios offices for the foreseeable future. Happy Halloween, and don't forget to follow us on our socials down below for V Rising news and updates. Okay, so you can check out their website, link in the description below. I'm gonna put links for everything. Um, but I've been following them. So it, Stunlock is kind of an indie development studio, very small. Um, 
uh, they had a game. They've had a couple of games come out. You might you can check out their website. They do have some other stuff that some people may be interested in or not. Then we have God of War Ragnarok. So so no date by the way for V Rising. We're waiting for that. Um, we've got God of War Ragnarok. No date yet, but it's coming out in 2022. We've already talked. To, I talked about the Thor, the Fat Thor controversy in the last action update. You can go check it out over there. Um, Vampire the Masquerades Bloodlines Two. Uh, sorry, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Two. Uh, the release date has is to be determined. Uh, it was supposed to be released uh, in 2019. Then it got delayed to 2020. Then it got delayed to 2021. Now it's delayed to 20. Now it's delayed, and it's not delayed to 2022, but it's just delayed indefinitely. We don't know what time this game is coming out, but we do know that it is still in development. Um, we, Although we have not gotten any official updates since February 20... Excuse me, February 23rd of 2021. And this is the message from the official... Um, website. So here's a summary of what the game is supposed to be, if you're unfamiliar. Uh, sired in an act of vampirism, va sorry, vampire terrorism, your existence ignites the war for Seattle's blood trade. Enter uneasy alliances with the creatures who control the city and uncover the sprawling conspiracy which plunged, Sea plunged Seattle into a bloody civil war between powerful vampire factions. If you don't know, Vampire the Masquerade has two other games. So you had Vampire the Masquerade I want to say it's like Revenge or Retribution, okay? And that's where you play as a medieval knight or something, and you get turned into a vampire. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 1 uh, takes place in Santa Monica, California. It's a really fun game, very critically acclaimed, awesome. I've been waiting for the sequel for a long time, so now Bloodlines 2 has been kind of having some problems with its production. We're going to talk about that right now. So, as I said, it was supposed to release in 2021, but was delayed with no release date given. Um, I believe that there's a possible, possibly, a total story rework due to the uh, controversy that took place. Basically, and I'm going to read this quote. Basically, there was a quote from a developer that made the community behind the game a little bit upset. Here's what it said. Uh, it is a political game, but I think it's one of those few opportunities that gives us the chance to let people make their own political statement in a way that's not cheap. I don't believe that you can look at, sorry, I don't believe you can look at both sides of a political argument without understanding both sides. So that's a really good statement so far. Um, nothing wrong with that. Here's the thing that uh, irritated some people and made some people have some anticipation about the release of the game. It's easy to say this is a good and this is bad. Actually, that was that was good still, but this is it. This is the part that made people in anxious. But it's definitely taking some political stances on what we think are right and wrong. In terms of the main conflict, what is interesting is it's one of those truly balanced issues. Now, that was from Martin... K.I. Clooney? K.I. Clooney? I'm not sure how to pronounce the middle name. It's K-A-I. Uh, uh, so Clooney, 21st, which was on the 21st of March, uh, 2019. This, so this is sourced from VG247. So if you Google that, VG247, you'll be able to find the article that that's contained in. Um, Basically, with the current political climate, especially at the time, this was in 2019, okay? So with the current political climate and many people pointing, so many people have pointed to certain political messaging within movies and video games as the, you know, as the causes of those, the failures of those movies and video games, such as like The Last of Us 2 had some political stuff in it. Um, you had Star the Star Wars series, you, yeah, uh, Captain Marvel, these types of things that have been controversial. Uh, it would make sense that a de for you know for development teams to our development companies, uh, excuse me, to kind of take a step back, rethink their strategy, and either you know rework or remove portions of the stories that they put into, you know, as far as the storyline elements that they put into their games that could be seen as politically charged. Because you have to realize that in the game, now I'm not giving my own opinion here, but I am saying that one thing, it's never a smart business move to say, here's, you know, I mean, let's be real here. It's left and it's right. Here's the left, here's the right. We are going to make one half of them angry. That is never a good idea in any business, no matter what you're doing. But then also you have to realize that gamers, um, you know, 
the demographic is not spread exactly evenly between left and right. And so when you make certain political statements and things like that, you're, you're kind of knocking out a huge portion. You could be potentially knocking out a huge portion of your fan base along with the, with the fact that, you know, depending on how you write certain things, how you make certain things in your storyline, whether they agree, like whether they go along with what your audience or like for instance i do not like political injection that is inorganic that is not organic to the story so whether whether whatever you're saying goes with what i believe or not if it's not done well and it's not organic i'm not going to like it either way so getting political un unnatural it's not political messaging it's unnatural political messaging into games um can have a negative effect. And it seemed like for a while, a lot of media was doing that, putting political messaging into their media needlessly. And so if as they start to lose money doing that or start to irritate their fan bases doing that, it makes sense that they might want to take a, a step back and say, hey, maybe we don't want to do this anymore. But aside from that, so so Vampire 2, Vampire, sorry, excuse me, Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is probably not coming out in 2022. It's probably not coming out in 2023 and maybe coming out in 2024 from what I've heard. I do not have any insider information, but I have heard people talk about it who say that they do have maybe some insider information and they're a lot smarter than me, a lot more connected, and they've said possibly 2024. We'll see what happens. I mean, it could come out at the end, you know, sometime this year or sometime next year it could, or sometime in 2030. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, other than that, we have some other ones that all of these games are um, to be determined their their release date. So we don't know when they're coming, but they're supposed to be coming sometime in 2022. So we have Hogwarts Legacy, Lord of the Rings Gollum. So Hogwarts Legacy is supposed to be open world style um, Harry Potter action game. Lord of the Rings Gollum is going to be a stealth open world stealth game. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it is open world. It's supposed to be a stealth game, though, uh, all about Gollum uh, from Lord of the Rings. Then we have Dune Spice Wars, which is supposed to be a real-time strategy game. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, an action game uh, about the Suicide Squad. Gotham Knights, another action game about Robin and Batgirl and some of those guys that run around with Batman. Uh, Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time remake is coming out. I'm really excited for that one because I loved it when it first came out, and I'm really ready to play it with upgraded graphics. Redfall, which I've covered the trailer for in some of my trailer um, uh, live streams. I'm, I'm excited about that. It's, it's supposed to be another vampire action game uh, with guns. It's like a first-person shooter. Um, Terminator Dark Fate Defiance, another real-time strategy game that's going to be released on PC. I don't know when any of those games are coming out, but with this year having so many this year has so many open spaces like i said we have a good one two three four five month chunk where no games are coming out that i'm interested in in the immediacy uh like i said if you guys have any suggestions let me know um where we may as these other games that are to be determined come out we may be able to fit them in depending on how late they come out in the year otherwise it's going to be retro action reviews and i'm still working my way through the mass effect series Series, um, just as kind of a little, almost like a hobby, um, to get through and, and eventually do some reviews of that because those are some of my favorite games of all time. So um, that is really that's what I've got this time for the action update. I hope that you guys enjoyed, um, you know, hearing me talk about my channel, do my shoutouts. Uh, I hope that you guys are excited for the plan moving forward. Please, guys, please, please, please give me suggestions. I do want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support through this last year. And thank you all for your support in the next year as we move forward. And I just want to say God bless you all and have a good day.